What's up world of YouTube, Jake Kasek here and today I'm going to talk about my vlogging setup as well as touching all the gear that I use to make these videos that you're watching right now. One, three, five, go! Coming from the wild, wild west indies. Alright guys, and before we get deep into the technical side of this video, if you're just interested in the gear that I use and just want to check it out, check out how much it costs, all the gear that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description below, so feel free to check that out uh, if I'm boring you with all my tech talk. Alright, so first up we're going to talk about camera gear. What cameras do I use to shoot on a regular basis to create these videos? Okay, so first up we have a GoPro Hero 4 Session paired up with a Pro Standard Mouth Mount and then this is just a floaty for the GoPro session and this is what I use for pretty much 90% of my POV shots and the settings that I use are usually 1440p at 24 frames a second and this just allows me to have a slightly bigger frame so I can adjust what is actually in a 1080p frame when I export the video and yeah my main settings are 1440p and also 720p at a hundred frames per second. So yes, you get a little bit lower quality, but you get a much better clip for slow-mo, so sometimes it's okay to lose a little bit of quality and get the ability to add some slow-mo. Okay, and then next up, I have a GoPro Hero 5 paired up to a GoPro Reach. And this thing is pretty awesome because um, it just allows you to obviously use the GoPro Hero 5 uh, so you can get super duper 120 frames a second slow-mo which is really nice and on a pole it's just awesome because you can get sweet selfie stuff and it's really good for follow cam stuff. So basically riding along someone next to you and getting super close in their face and just getting a nice wide slow-mo shot. So this is definitely the second piece of gear that I use most for shooting these videos. Uh, the GoPro Hero 5 and a GoPro Evo. Okay, so that's it for my action cams. That's what I use for in the water. Now I'm going to talk about what I use on the land and for all this talking stuff. Basically what I'm shooting on right now is a Sony A6500 paired up to a Rode Video Micro. And that is an awesome running gun setup because it's pretty compact and the Rode Video Micro doesn't need a battery so you're basically always going to have audio. And then for lenses, right now I'm shooting on a Sony 50mm 1.8 and then I also have a Sony 18-105. to and this is my go-to lens. This is what I use for pretty much 95% of my shooting. It's just a really good range and yeah, it's just a great lens for one and one stuff because you can punch in, punch out and you know, get tight or wide shots. And then what I'm shooting on right now is the 50 mil and that's a great lens for doing stuff like this when you're kind of in a dark room and you need to let a little bit more light into the camera. The 1.8 lens definitely helps with that and the Sony 50mm is also great for photo stuff because again with the wide aperture you can get really silky backgrounds and just yeah super nice photos. So yeah, the Sony A6500 paired up with the Sony 18-105 is my go-to run and gun setup for anything talking or any sort of b-roll shots. Okay, so we've talked about my action cam, we've talked about my land-based run-and-gun camera, and the last camera I'm going to talk about is my drone, which is the DJI Mavic Pro. And this thing is awesome. This is definitely the best drone I have ever owned, uh, just because the camera is pretty good, it's good enough for vlogging, and yeah, I have no complaints about the camera. Obviously, DJI does make higher-end drones if you want to just get even better quality, but for me, the DJI Mavic Pro has been a dream. Just because it's so compact, I can take it everywhere with me. If I have this camera, I have this camera. So yeah, for any sort of uh, in the air stuff, any sort of drone shots, all of that stuff is shot with this bad boy. 
And then I actually have it paired up with a Polar Pro um, polarizer. Uh, I have a few different ones uh, for depending on the lighting conditions. But yeah, definitely get a filter if you have a Mavic Pro. It just helps uh, the camera perform a lot better. So yeah, that's what I use for all my in-air sky shots. Alright guys, so we've talked about my cameras, basically all the stuff that I use to actually document these videos. Next we're going to talk about a few accessories that I have. I don't use them every day, but they are a good thing to have in a bag if you just want to get some pretty unique and different shots. So first up, we're going to talk about some GoPro domes. And basically, I have two domes right now. I have one from a company called Connect and another one from a company called Godome. And basically, these are gonna offer very similar looking shots. Uh, the Godome is a lot more budget friendly and the Connect is just a more premium product, so it's slightly better build, but it does cost quite a bit more. And right now, uh, this one fits the GoPro Hero 5, whereas this one only fits the GoPro Hero 4, so that's also something to consider. But Connect is working on a GoPro Hero 5 one, so by the time you watch this video, they may have it out. But yeah, so if you're looking for an awesome way to get cool half and half shots, so basically some action underneath and some action on top, I would definitely recommend either the Go Dome or a Kinect Dome. Because these things offer, <laughs> it just makes you get these super cool half and half shots. That a few years ago, the only way you get that would be with a super duper expensive like DSLR housing with a dome. So yeah, it's pretty cool to see that you can now get amazing half and half shots with a GoPro on one of these bad boys. Okay, and next up I'm just going to talk about my GoPro gimbal. Basically, the gimbal I use is a water resistant gimbal from a company called Removu. Uh, they actually gave me this gimbal for free, so that's just a little disclaimer, but it's a super sick gimbal because it's water resistant, for, so for someone like me who's always, you know, at the beach around the water, it's just super nice to have a much more rugged gimbal. And yeah, gimbals are not something you need to have, but they definitely allow you to level up with your footage because you can start getting shot with motion and it just allows you to get a lot more cinematic feeling shot with the GoPro. So I definitely recommend looking into either the removal and I'll also link some other gimbals down below uh, if you're looking to just up your video game with the GoPro. Alright guys, so we've talked about cameras, we've talked about camera accessories, but we have yet to talk about one of the most important parts of making videos and editing photos. A computer. What computer do I use to edit these videos that you're watching right now? Basically I use an ASUS ROG gaming computer. And this is super sweet because it's designed for gaming, which means it has a whole lot of power, which means it's a breeze for photo and video editing. Alright, so now that you know what computer I use, what programs do I use to edit? Basically I use most of the Adobe programs with Premiere, Adobe Premiere, and also Adobe Lightroom being my main programs. Adobe Premiere is awesome for video editing and it's what most of the top content creators use to make videos. And then Adobe Lightroom is a must have for organizing photos as well as editing photos. Especially if you shoot on a GoPro because, you know, when you're shooting on a GoPro you shoot thousands of photos and maybe get like five good ones. So Adobe Lightroom makes it easy to go through, mark all the good ones, and keep those while getting rid of the junk. So I definitely recommend checking out the Adobe suite of Premiere and Lightroom. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all of the gear that I use to create these videos. Um, before we leave, I just want to touch on gear. Uh, does it really matter? I think yes it does. You know, it's like a workman having the right tools. The better gear you have just means it's going to be a lot easier for you to shoot and you're just going to be able to get high quality shots with a lot less effort. But you know, it is still the man behind the camera, you have to know your gear and just really start having an eye for getting shots um, and you don't really need a bunch of expensive gear. For years, really before 
Uh, this year, I never had a big camera like the Sony A6500. All of my shots were shot mainly on my Samsung cell phone. This is what I started vlogging on. What's up, guys? Jake Kelsic here, and I am super excited because I am going to start vlogging. And then everything else was just shot on GoPros, either the Session or a GoPro Hero 4 Black or GoPro Hero 4 Silver. So never let not being able to afford gear hold you back from getting out, documenting, and shooting stuff. Because what I've learned from shooting with the GoPros for years is that having just one camera, having just one camera is actually a really good thing because it allows you to focus on getting the shot and it allows you to be motivated to get up close and get in there and actually capture moments. And for those of you guys who think I'm just spouting hot air, I'm gonna link a video below and also maybe at the end called Cruise Mode. And this is a kiteboarding video that has managed to get nearly 500,000 hits. And this was shot 100% on GoPros. Pretty much on the GoPro Polo setup that I talked about. <coughs> as well as just a GoPro and a drone. And if you guys want to check that video out, it'll be linked in the description below. And it just goes to show what you can do with just a simple GoPro. All right guys, so that's it from my vlogging setup and basically all of the gear that I use to make these videos that you guys seem to enjoy watching. Um, again, if you want to check out any of the gear that I talked about, all of the gear will be linked in the description below. And if you're looking to buy something, please buy it by those links down below because it actually helps me out. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys found some value in it. And yeah, as usual, big thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Big ups!